So, what is computer science? Well, computer science, at its heart, is really all about learning how to solve almost any kind of problem. Along the way, you'll also learn how to work with your computer. You have an incredible idea that you want to bring to fruition, and your computer is an invaluable tool to that end. But it can't do everything for you. You'll learn how to best express your ideas in a way that can be understood by the computer. The computer will assist you in this process, and it will tell you what is and isn't working. To that, together, you'll make a great team. What you should remember, however, is that these languages that we communicate the computer with aren't all that different from each other, and do very similar powerful things by allowing us to give the computer orders in a language that we know and that the computer can understand. And there are actually many, many languages that computer scientists use. Languages allow us to express computer science as an art of problem solving. They give us access to a virtual Swiss army knife of tools, with almost any difficult problem made much easier by those clever enough to use computer science. In this workshop, we'll be using an introductory drag and drop language called Blockly, and end with a brief intro to writing actual code in Python. One thing I want to make clear before we move on is that this workshop is not about teaching you a specific language like Blockly or Python, but it is about teaching you the fundamental concepts that make up computer science. It would be impossible to do this without you know, using a language to give you practical experience, but the concepts you learn in this workshop are easily transferable and applicable and are used in other languages as well. So this workshop is not about languages. We're going to go through a couple of exploratory topics in this workshop, and there are three main ones. The first of which is abstraction, which we'll be covering in a couple seconds. The next one is going to be objects, and we're going to take a look at what objects are and why they're important. Finally, we're going to end with functions and, and how they're useful. What are functions? Why are they important? And these are the three basic topics that I'd like to begin with. So, let's talk about abstraction. 